Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Maxine Loves Crafts. I'm Maxine and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today I have for you two quick and easy, anybody can do these projects, farmhouse um, DIYs. Let's get started. So I have this um, thrifted sign. Um, it says on the back that I paid $4.99. There's no way I would pay $4.99 for that. So I probably got it for 50% off. Um, and I'll show you the back in a minute where I, the price, I don't know why I waited, but, um, I wanted to go ahead and cover up all that writing. So I thought, well, if I used any other color, it would have just taken me forever. The, there's where I show you the 499. It would have taken me forever to get it covered. So I went ahead and just kept it with black and thought, you know, the black looks really good. Black and white on farmhouse looks so good. And then... I have this from Timu, one of these silk screen transfers. I can't afford chalk couture, and <laughs> as much as I wish I could because it's great, I simply can't afford it. So on Timu, you can buy these for like $2 and change. And, <clears throat> you know, for me, that's fine. I'll take those any day of the week. <clears throat> and the, it comes out really cute. Now, I don't have chalk paste. You know, you really do need chalk paste for these silk transfers. It just works better. I don't have any, so I just use my um, um, chalk paint. You know, not chalk. What's it called? The, the paste for... You guys know the paste I'm talking about. For one, for the silk screen transfers and chalk couture. I don't have that. So I'm just going to use my Waverly chalk paint is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. So I have, I had to cut it down so it would fit on this, um, you know, this space here. So I first put down the welcome to the, and on the bottom I put farmhouse. And I'm just going to use white. I do have one of those scrapers, thanks to my friend Tammy, who sent me some, ch uh, some actual chalk couture, probably, gosh, a year, year and a half ago. And I still have that, <laughs> that little scraper. And uh, she sent me some really nice transfers a long time ago, and they were absolutely beautiful. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scrape it on. I'm really trying hard to make sure I get down in that, that screen. Um, I do find if I rub it in with my finger, I get better coverage, I guess you'd like to say. Like, it really gets down in the screen. Um, and I don't always do that. I don't know why when I feel like I do get better coverage, but it doesn't come out perfect, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. you know, looking a little worn, I'm going to sand it anyway. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and just keep working on that. See, I keep trying and trying to get it in there cause I really wanted to get, you know, every single, um, oh, I am using my finger here. Okay. Even using my finger with this one, it did not take it all. But like I said, that's okay because I'm going to sand it anyway. And I do take a detailed brush here in a little bit and try to fix the spots that didn't get on very well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and peel it off. You know, that's not too bad, right? It, and for me, I'm okay with that. Okay, now I'm going to do the welcome to the... <laughs> mm -hmm trying to make sure I really get it down in there this time. Now, as you can see too, I did get some, some white paint on there. I fix all that as well. I go over any where I've dropped white paint or went over the, um, like the silk screen. So I cleaned all that up too. <clears throat> and you'll see me doing it right here. <laughs> This sign turns out really cute and I'm so happy with it. And as you can see, I've already see the edge, how I've already taken it back with a, a sanding block. I didn't show you that. You guys all know how to sand. So I just took a big block, one of those blocks that I got from Dollar Tree and just got all of the edges, you know, because the original sign had those edges and I really liked it. So I went ahead and did that as well. Here's where I'm trying to clean up, you know, where I messed up. And I'm showing you guys all of this because I really want you to be able to see, you know, my mistakes and how I try to fix it. 
and you'll have to tell me if you think I fixed it okay or not. I feel like I love the sign, so I'm happy with it regardless. But <laughs> you guys can tell me that I didn't get it perfect for sure. <laughs> I just hope you guys like it. Okay, so now we're going to put the middle in, which is the little leaves and the chicken. Now here, you see that I tried to really get um, the silk screen down because I thought maybe that was the problem I did with the other part. Maybe I didn't get it all the way onto, you know, the um, sign. So I thought, let me really make sure I get it down in there. Now I do the leaves in a um, moss, wave release moss, and then I do the chicken in white. Now I'm not gonna have you see, you know, watch me do both sides. Um, I don't think anyway. No, maybe I do. <laughs> you guys, I had this. This was like a 30-minute video, and I cut so much out of it. So <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, they do not need to see the whole thing. But I really just wanted you to see um, how well the transfers work, and that um, I did. You know, it is user error. I'm sure you know, on the mistakes I've made. But, you know, for a $2 transfer, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, here again, I'm going to take my finger, really get down in that silk screen, try to make sure I get my coverage. I wish that there was a way to be able to see through it to know if you got, you know, enough coverage or not. See, there I am just rubbing. Now, on the left side here, you're going to see in a minute, it did really well. I only missed one leaf a little bit on the right side. Here we go. We're taking it off. Let's see what we have. Voila! So, quite a bit of the chicken. I went ahead, fixed all that, you know, just like I did on the, the wording. Now, I am sanding it a little bit. going to wipe it off with a towel. Um, I made some bows off camera. I am getting a little bit better at bows. So I think I'll start showing you soon how I'm doing those because I'm definitely getting a little bit better at them. <laughs> but that's it. There it is. It's so cute. You guys, I hope you like it. I think it's adorable. And it goes really well with my decor. And um, I love anything farmhouse. I really do. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> I hope you guys will tell me in the comments which one's your favorite out of the two I made today. Okay, this one is pretty quick. I, again, took another silk screen that I got from Timu. And this one had, like, you know, a rabbit, a duck, a cow, a pig. I mean, it had everything. You know, just everything I could think of it had on there. That's why I really liked it. And I like those little transfers that, like, Chalkator has. And I'm always looking for those on Timu. And you don't always get those. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. So I picked the cow. Again, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, um, I can't remember what that's called when you get the fuzz off of it. You know, like the sticky, not so much sticky on it. Defuzz it? I don't remember. Anyway, okay, so I get it down. And I am going to do the grass in the moss again. And the cow in white. I do feel like this one came out so much better than the last one as far as like, you know, getting everything on there. Um, but you know, I worked really hard to make sure that, um, I got it down. Oh, and that ribbon that you saw in the last DIY and the ribbon you're going to see in this one is out of my Michael's grab boxes. So I went down and got all of my ribbon out of there. And I cannot believe how much ribbon I got out of those. So happy. Okay, so I'm trying to get all the white on. And then I do go clean these transfers right away. Because I do want to use them again. Even though they're only a couple dollars, I'd like to get as much use out of them as I can. And who knows, maybe I'll get some chalk paint, you know, someday. But it's just so expensive. You know, I can't afford... Um, how pricey all that is. Crafting can cost a lot of money, and if you're not careful, you will just spend 
and I've spent a lot. So <laughs> I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. Everything's gone up. Okay, so I'm rubbing in them with my finger again. I really want to make sure I get that silk screen in there, you know, and there it is. Look at that. Okay, I also got out of those grab boxes, those Christmas um, greenery. Now, yes, it's Christmas greenery and it has a little bit of like the frost on it, but I really liked it. And I thought, you know, it's going to look really cute on here. So I didn't mind. Um, I could have used some boxwood that I have, but I really liked the, uh, I don't know, just the look of these. I thought it was really cute. So, and I have quite a bit of it, so I'm definitely going to use it. <laughs> okay, so I try to get these to stay because they want to pop off the board. It was a little difficult, so I really had to put a lot of hot glue and held them for quite some time, and I finally do get them to stay. I put them so far apart there because I wanted my bow to look, you know, nice and fluffed out. Before, when I had tried to put them closer together, my bow was looking real um, crunched in there, and I just didn't like the way it looked. You guys, that's it for this project. I love this cow. It's so cute. So, so cute. Okay, and you guys, thank you so much. I hope you like this as much as I do. I so appreciate you clicking on this video. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you again here really soon. I'm trying to do shorter videos so I can put more up. And um, you guys have a wonderful week. Happy crafting, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.